Welcome to the Weekend Rewind, where we talk about anything that moves the needle in mortgage and real estate. So positive news this week, we do have interest rates that are ending the week better than where we started. And really the reason is a couple of things. Number one, the Fed talked this week. They talked two days. Yes, they did not say they were going to cut interest rates, but they also said very clearly they weren't going to raise interest rates. They said they're restrictive enough at this point and that they are going to be watching, but they're not taking any potential cuts off the table at this point for the end of this year, which was positive. We also had jobs numbers came out and those jobs numbers were quite a bit less than expected. And even though that's not a good thing for, you know, people, it is a good thing for interest rates because it is showing that the economy is slowing a little bit and that unemployment rate did tick up to 3.9. If the unemployment rate ticks up to a 4.2, 4.3, that would surprise the Fed and that would cause them to cut rates way faster than they're anticipating. So we really want to be paying attention to that number. The other thing that I think is really important for everyone to know is this market, in spite of interest rates, is still chugging along really well. So a few statistics for you. Last week, we had 12 clients that made offers. Every one of them were in multiples. The highest offer that we had was 875, lowest was 225. Um, out of those 12 clients that made offers, six of them won. And when we connect with the other six, why they didn't win, many times it was, uh, this is how high we were willing to go in this house and that's it. We weren't willing to do the appraisal gap. We weren't willing to do um, no inspection. So there were just some levers that they were not willing to pull in order to win. Maybe it just was not the right house or they just didn't feel comfortable enough or maybe they were too new in the market to do that quite yet. But those that did win had very short inspection windows and they basically said, if it's not five grand or more in repairs, we're not asking for a thing. They had full appraisal gap. They had quick closings <clears throat> or long closings, depending on what the seller wanted. So the people that did win were the ones that were really willing to pull those levers to make their offers stand out. So even in spite of the interest rates, even though we're getting a little reprieve this week, um, those levers are still having to be pulled with interest rates above seven. So know that going forward. No, we are your partner in helping you win when you are making offers and really looking at what that means to you right when you're making that offer. The other thing is we've got the invite out for our um, Learning with Lisa event. It is via Zoom on uh, Wednesday, uh, week from Wednesday from six to seven. And this is a buyer panel. These are people that have bought in the last year in an increasing rate environment in a competitive rate environment. And really it's gonna be an open forum of questions that they will answer with regards to regrets they, that they had, things that they wish they would have done differently, things they know now that they wish they would have known then, et cetera. So you should jump on this Zoom call because it's gonna be invaluable information um, for anyone that's thinking about buying this year. Thanks for watching, we'll talk to you soon.